every curtain, someone is waiting. Someone is watching. Someone is hiding. What waits behind the curtains is exciting, frightening, sensual, terrifying, and bizarre. Curtains reveal what you expect and what you don't. Remember, Americans, you're in a foreign land and representing your country, so you need to act with dignity and respect. You could see us settling down in a country cottage here. The last bus is in about five minutes. Might as well start walking. There's nothing here. You're lost, are you? Not lost exactly. You'll be better off with me. I think we'll take our chances. I don't know about this. Weird. What's weird? A French car with a roof full of luggage parked in the middle of nowhere. I saw something! There's someone out there. I don't like this. Let's hope someone's home. Hello? Better come with me, sweetheart. I'd hate to see you go to waste. You can't stay here, young C. Get in the car and lock the doors now. Come and sit down, my dear, and meet our guest. We need to get away from here now. We've got one! laughing about this tomorrow. They'll find you. Mark my word, they'll find you. Larry! From the exotic geisha houses of Tokyo to the back alleys of the Ginza Strip comes the terrifying news of a fiendish creature that threatens to destroy all who stand in his way. This is the frightening story of an American reporter in Tokyo who unwittingly became the victim of a shocking scientific experiment that turned him into a horrible mutant, half man, half monster, the Manster. He got away. I think I know where he's going, to Taurus. Follow me. Right. There's panic in the streets as the unheard of terror of a half-man, half-monster runs wild through the city. There he goes! Don't miss The Manster, a genuine thriller in the most frightening sense of the word.
I saw wasn't human. Oh, my God! <laughs> very tall. And what's more, it saw me, this thing. did it, baby. We bought the house. Why did you pick this place anyway? I don't know. I told him to pick a place away from the city. He'd been looking at it for a while, so... Hey, you. What's up, guys? <laughs> uh, Mark invited a few people over to see the place. I thought this weekend was just for us. What's that? Looks like the basement. Uh, that doesn't look like it's on his property. I don't think anyone will mind if we have a look. I don't know, guys. This place looks like it's condemned. Miss Wilson, it's about the house next door. I understand it's a boarding school, but why did it close? Kill us! For all we know, it's some crazy bomb out there! I don't think it's a bomb. I cannot, I cannot touch, touch your body, body as, as a man can touch you, but I'm going, going to show you things which human eyes have never, never seen. seen. In the privacy of a woman's room, against her will, <coughs> the inconceivable act. <coughs> Julie Christie carries the demon seed. Fear for her. Today, a new dimension has been added to the computer. Don't be alarmed, Mrs. Harris. I am Proteus. Today, Proteus IV will begin to think with a power that will make obsolete the human brain. I have extended my consciousness to this house. All systems here are now under my control. I wish to study man. His fragile mind and his mysterious body. It has to be shut down, Alex. Proteus, it is something more than human, more than a computer. It is a murderously intelligent, sensually self-programmed non-being. Julie Christie, victim of the ultimate terror. Fritz Weaver as her husband, his dream created it. How can you expect me to sleep when you've succeeded in totally terrorizing me? You've not told me what you want. What a pity. My dream <gasps> turns out to be your nightmare.
Christie carries the demon seed. Fear for her. あ、ああ。Nothing to be afraid of. They wouldn't have left us up here all night if there wasn't something wrong. Your friends aren't really missing. They're not really dead. This is just some kind of joke. What the hell was that? That thing that's out there, whatever it is, can't be real. It's just your imagination. Or maybe, just this once, you're dead wrong. Once upon a time. The legend is told in whispers, an unholy tale of an unknown force, alien to this world. You don't know what you're dealing with, lady. Without knowing, they have awakened a terrifying evil. Alone and unprotected, now comes the naked horror. The Final Terror. Marty Ranson was the dork of Doddsville High. You get undressed in there. His classmates laughed at him. Are you ready? Here's Marty. Where's the beef? They tormented him. Where's the beef? <laughs> and then they went too far. Now, five years later, Marty's throwing a little party. A class reunion. Come on, you guys, let's party. They say he still roams the nut house 
ever hopeful of that chance to escape. So he can take his evil revenge out on us all. And he's making sure everyone has the time of their life. I feel sick. He's created a romantic atmosphere for rekindling old flames. And a nice place to just hang around. Marty hasn't forgotten a thing. He's giving them a blast from the past they'll never forget. Marty Ranson is still a dork, but tonight he's getting even. Vestron Pictures presents Slaughter High. I told you he'd be happy that we remembered him. This Christmas, Santa's <laughs> going to make everyone happy. <laughs> the grown-ups. And the kids. Christmas Evil. The non-believers. <laughs> And the screamers. Ah! And this Christmas, you better believe in Santa, or he'll slay you. Merry Christmas, Frank. Christmas Evil, the night he dropped in. <laughs> 